Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 6th of December 2017. If you watched my videos a day or so ago, I had said that there's a very significant vote going to take place in the House of Representatives. I'm going to attach an article posted by Fox News. I think you'll like this. But remember what I also said. House approves concealed carry reciprocity gun bill faces challenge in the Senate by Joseph Webb. That's what I said. It's going to face the challenge in the Senate, not in the House. There's an attached video you're going to be able to watch. It's a minute and 31 seconds in duration. House Republicans on Wednesday voted in favor of making concealed carry permits valid across state lines, scoring a major victory for gun rights supporters. But similar Senate legislation still faces an uncertain future, with top Democrats and other gun control advocates rallying in opposition on Capitol Hill. The Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act passed 231-198 in the GOP-controlled House, with six Democrats voting in support. Quote, for the millions of law-abiding citizens who lawfully carry concealed to protect themselves for cons conservatives who want to strengthen our Second Amendment rights and for the overwhelming majority of Americans who support concealed carry reciprocity, Christmas came early, Representative Richard Hudson, RNC, the bill's sponsor, reacted. Hudson had tried unsuccessfully for years to pass such legislation, which he says simply attempts to clarify the patchwork of state laws that confuse citizens who might unwittingly be arrested while going from state to state. Quote, Despite scary tactics by the bill's opponents, concealed carry licenses as a group have proven to be more law-abiding than the general population and even the police. You want to read the rest of the article? You know, I don't know if you folks saw this video that I did probably a couple of years ago. And it was of a gentleman that was driving from one of the eastern states. And he fell asleep parked in the back of a shopping center. And he was headed to Texas. He was actually relocating himself to Texas. There was a knock on the window of the vehicle. It was two police officers. They said, so what are you doing here? He said, well, I can't afford a hotel or a motel. I'm trying to get myself to Texas, so I thought I'd catch a little sleep. One of the officers shone his flashlight towards the rear of the van. He was driving a van. And he noticed a rifle case. And he said, what's in that? And the gentleman said, well, I, I have a permit for that weapon in my state. But you don't have a permit for that weapon here in New Jersey. From what I read, he ended up going to prison. Now, if he would have had a car with a trunk, and if that weapon would have been in the trunk, then he would have been fine. But he didn't have a car with a trunk. He just had his van. And because of that, he ended up going to prison. I recall sending an email making phone calls to the governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, asking him to intercede. Never got a call back. So again, this law makes total and complete sense. Will it pass through the Senate? Well, Considering that a number of Democrats voted for it in the House, the possibility exists. Contact your local representative, your senators, and ask them to do what the Founding Fathers wanted us to do, which is to be able to protect ourselves. If I go to California, which is where I lived for 28 years, I can't take my weapon with me. If I go to New Jersey, to New York, to Connecticut, to Illinois, I can't take my weapon with me. What good is it? What good is it? It isn't. So I'm hoping that enough people recognize that that's what we need to do. We need to pass the Reciprocity Act. Let me know what you think. And more than letting me know what you think, do something about it. Contact 
your local senator. Tell them we need what the Founding Fathers wanted for us. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.